Good morning, dear students, and welcome back to our today's online class. In our previous class, we learned about water and water solutions. And we learned that to make a solution, we need two things. They are solute and solvent. So what is a solute? Solute is a solid substance which dissolves in a liquid that is called solute. Whereas the liquid which dissolves solute is known as solvent. And when a solute dissolves in solvent, the mixture we get is known as solution. So solution contains both solute and solvent. Is that clear boys? And when the liquid is used as solvent, then that solution is known as water solution. So when solutes are dissolved in water, then what type of solution do we get? Water solution. Now water can dissolve most of the substances, most of the things around us. And therefore, water is also known as universal solvent. Although water cannot dissolve sand, water cannot dissolve stone, hood, plastics, but most of the things get dissolved in water. And that is why water is known as universal solvent. Now, we also learned in our earlier class the conditions that affect making of a solution. We can make solution faster by stirring. When we stir the water, the solute particles dissolve faster and hence our solution gets prepared faster. We can also make our solution faster by heating the water. So when we heat the water, temperature of the water rises, increases. So when we increase the temperature of water, solute particles dissolve faster in warm water. Therefore, heating the water helps the solute to dissolve faster. Now, in order to understand these two conditions to increase the effect of making solution, we will do one small experiment and that experiment will be your today's task. Is that clear boys? So what I want you to do is please open page number 79, read, get, set, go. Okay. Now, Instruction and instruction is given to you. Please read the instruction properly, follow them and do your experiment and based on your observation, please put your remarks over here. You need to take a glass of warm water and in another glass you need to take cold water. So you need to take two glasses, one containing warm water and the other containing cold water. You also need sand, sugar and either food color or ink. Okay, now if you do not have food color or ink, you can use any liquid color. Now you need, that means you need three things. Okay, now you, need, you can do this experiment and write your observ observations in your textbook or you can also write this in your exercise book if you want to but i suggest you to do this activity in your textbook itself now i want you to start with sand then record your observations okay then move on to sugar first take sand mark your observation throw that water and sand wash it properly 
then again take warm water and cold water in two containers then again you add sugar to in to both the glasses okay follow the instructions given over here one by one okay see first whether by without stirring sugar gets dissolved or not if it gets dissolved you put tick mark if it doesn't get dissolved just cross it now if when you stir it what observation do you record if it dissolves then put tick mark if it doesn't dissolve just cross it with cold water does it dissolve if it dissolves put tick mark with warm water also if it dissolves put tick mark if it doesn't dissolve then just cross it and write your observation here like if to make solution if you need stirring then you write the sugar dissolves in cold water or hot water on stirring if the sugar dissolves without stirring in warm water then you write sugar dissolves in warm water without stirring and that way finally you do this experiment with either food color or ink or any other paint color is that clear boys so this is your today's assignment i hope you will enjoy this experiment please complete it and send it to me okay till we ne meet next time stay safe and do all things well